like would have kept them going. Did, did it hurt and, uh, that band in terms of their popularity? In terms of like you know, uh, limit limit their success? I guess so to say. I, well, I mean, it definitely. I mean, from from what I've I've read, it limited his stage performance, which uh, meant uh, bad shows. And trust me, I know a thing or two about bad shows. Like they're they don't exactly uh, make people want to keep seeing you. Um, right. Uh, if uh, yeah, I mean, you know, of, of course, I think. Uh, Drug use makes them unreliable, and if you can't uh, play live, if you can't record uh, albums, if he's too uh, messed up to uh, to write, to, to you know, put thoughts together. I mean, I I guess. I mean, I, but at the same time, I I think that maybe SCP for a while had uh, 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 something that you know, as far as like writing songs, maybe later on. Maybe he didn't even want to be in SCP. I mean, I, I don't know. You know, nobody knows. I mean, of course, I think, I think he would have uh, had a longer career with SCP had he uh, kind of stayed in check. I mean, but I mean, what happened? It, I, I, he was just unreliable. I mean, look what happened with uh, the band, the Double Revolver. Dude. Oh like, my uh, God! Yes, I mean that. You and, know what I mean? And and, and, and you could argue. And look at that is, band. Like, that band had a bunch of drug addicts. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like if you get kicked out of Velvet Revolver, you have to have a problem, man. You gotta have to have like and Velvet Revolver is huge, huge, too. huge problem. And they were, yeah, know. they were good. I mean, they they came out and they came out, you know, hardcore. And uh, actually, on my Facebook, man, I had a, a friend of mine saying how uh, Scott Weiland had a, a mediocre voice, and he just happened to, you know. Um, Meet the uh, amazing musicians, and uh, I don't know. I think he got I, it I, all I think wrong. That's bullshit. I think it's bullshit. I, I think he got it wrong. All right, because Wyland is the what the reason why all the bands he was with kind of had success in the beginning. No, I disagree with that completely. I, I, I'm with you there because I, I, I actually listened to some of the songs off the rec, off the their the, the, the debut record uh, back in '94, uh, uh, '04 rather. Um, and last night on the car, and I'm, I'm like, he, his vocals. He, he's actually an underrated vocalist. Think about it. He, like, he has a lot of like a lot of range, and he actually has a lot of like emotion. He's very, yeah, he's very versatile. Man. Very versatile. Very versatile. Right. And mm-hmm. I feel like, and yeah. I, I, honestly, I think, um, and, I, and obviously, SDP showed that. But I think Rubber Revolver, in a lot of ways, showed showed even more versatility too. Yeah, the Rubber Revolver was like uh, Audio Slave <laughs> Part Two. You know what I mean? They got kind of like, a, like but more, a super yeah, but more, group, but more colorful though. I, I, find, I always find them a little more colorful than uh, than uh, than uh, audio uh, audio slave. Well, yeah, they were more quote unquote uh, rock and roll. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, we have Slash in your band, of course. Of course, you can have <laughs> more rock. Yeah, yeah. Rock that guy was that guy is awesome. <laughs> yeah, um, it was funny too. I, I remember when I when I first heard about the project when you know, back like. You know, twelve years ago, like you know, Scott Wilde is gonna, he's gonna do this with uh, Slash and these guys and do this band. I'm thinking, oh, okay, whatever. It's gonna be some another stupid, stupid little fucking you know super band. It's gonna flop and just like put on some songs that's gonna make any sense and it's gonna like shit. And then I heard the album. I was like, holy crap, this is really good. <laughs> it's like a really good album. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to me, it sounded like SCP with solos, man. <laughs> like, uh, and, yeah, uh, a little attitude, bit, a little bit, man. Or attitude. The bass playing, uh, I, it was a little, it was different. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I like, I liked it. I, I only got, I don't know if they had more than one album. <coughs> they got the one they album. Did two or three, I think. Um, actually, did, I, I, I was really Velvet Revolver. Yeah, they, 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 they did at least two. They did another one, Contraband. <coughs> yeah, that's the one I heard. There was one before that. Yeah, that, that first one's actually uh, self-titled, I believe. Oh, word. Uh, make, okay, yeah. Sure no, that. I only heard Contraband. Let me make sure of that real quick. And, I'm like a, I'm like an asshole if I don't get this correct. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, because that dude's gonna be like, "Hey, man, there's only one." Dude, what are you what are you, like, what are you doing a podcast for? And this stuff you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, my bad. Yeah. I'm sorry. You know, um, they were together six years, and then he came back for another year, and then they were done. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, they did the uh, Libertad in 2007. Um. Let's see. They did, yeah, two albums. That's it. Libertad. So two Contraband albums. and Libertad. I, 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 I thought it was self-titled. My bad. Okay, Contraband's the debut. That's the one that the, the big one. Libertad was actually not. I wasn't a big fan of the of the, of the, of the second album. Yeah, actually. I didn't even hear about it. <laughs> yeah, I heard like I, I, I like like one song on that record. That was it. That was like the first single. <laughs> well, I mean, did you like uh, Scott Wilde's solo albums? 
You know what's funny? I, oh, you, you're going to laugh at me. I, I've actually 12 Bar Blues is awesome, actually. Have you heard 12 Bar Blues? No. I actually, I, I, I've heard a few songs of his, like, of solo stuff, like, a, like you know, watching on VH1 for years and stuff, but I've never actually dived into the solo records. I, I'm just weird. Never actually gave a chance mm-hmm. to like, sit and listen to the solo records. I really should now. Yeah. Yeah, he came out with one not, not too long ago, actually. Um, he was on tour, actually, uh, for in support of it. It's called Blaster. Um, I, that's I heard it. When he, when he died, he was uh, touring for that album. It was all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it, it was solid. I heard, though, he was on he, his last couple of shows. Um, and Mike Ryan, you know, the Dan Laboratory uh, producer, actually is a big fan. He, yeah. said he, was, he, he said he was actually looking on YouTube uh, last week um, before he died. Um, and he said that he, he sounded horrible. Yeah, there's been a lot, there was a lot of videos uh, of him just sounding out of it and uh, everything. And I don't know. <clears throat> it's one... uh, really sad, man. There was nobody there just to like help him, or he didn't want to be helped. Um, I don't know. A yeah. lot of speculation. I don't want to like to speculate, but no, I mean, I'm the same way a, too. A talent like that, man. A talent like that to to just like kind of go out like that is kind of sad, man. He had probably had more music in him, man. You know? Of course. I mean, I, I've always said too, you know, genius doesn't doesn't stay. Like genius doesn't stay on this planet forever. Like all the greatest geniuses in in music and any any sort of, in any form of art, all the greats don't last long. Very few do. Very few do make it through. But all the greats don't make it long, make it a long time, man. It, it, it's weird. That's why I was. Did you ever get to see them? No, and I, I regret. No, wait, I did. I, I think I saw that revolver actually. Uh, um, as well, a, anybody as, like Wylan in any in any incarnation. Well, revolver, revolver would be the one. I didn't. Not STP. I mean, revolver, revolver would be the one I did see actually. Yeah, how, the, how was he? It's good. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Because my brother went to see him a couple times with. Uh, I think it was with STP song. Um, <clears throat> when they were in the, on the number four t- tour, I think. Uh, mm-hmm. Tell me, he was. Uh, like a demon on stage, man. Like a actual demon on stage. Oh, you look at this it's video. Crazy. Dude. I mean, you see some of the stuff like on YouTube. I mean, you can see it yourself, man. He, he was definitely different. Like he was a showman. It feels like he was the last uh, great rock showman to me. I don't know. He actually can you think of somebody else. Uh, I, I mean, a I, showman I, like that I'm the, now. I'm the last. I don't know, yeah, dude. he's the last one. I mean, I don't know. I mean. <laughs> Eddie Vedder's not a showman. <laughs> that's not, that's not no, work. not at all. Uh, out of all those grunge people, nobody's a showman. There's no really. showman anymore. Come on, dude. Nah, um, he's, nah. he's, he's probably the last one. He, you know what's funny? I, I, I didn't just thought about this like uh, two days ago. He reminds me of a more extreme Freddie Mercury. Like his his, his stage. <laughs> no, his stage performance. Like the, on stage, like the way he moves. Yeah, around. yeah, of course. Not, not, not the vocals. He reminds me of like a more extreme, like, like de- demonic Freddie Mercury. <laughs> it well, makes see, any sense see, to you. The, the reason I'm laughing is because I've never actually seen Freddie Mercury uh, on stage. <laughs> oh my god! Are, you, are heard, you serious? I've only heard his albums. Yeah, I mean, no, never. No, uh, so that's a showman. I, I wouldn't know. That's a showman. Yeah, yeah, dude, go on YouTube, bro. Yeah, I think I will, but that, uh, that might be yeah, I never had the chance to. That might be that might that might be the most shocking thing you you ever told me. I'm, I've known you in 15 years. <laughs> that, that is the most shocking thing I've ever heard from you. From your mouth. I only listen to the albums, man. <laughs> no, but I'm surprised you've never seen Queen. And, and like, even even like on, y- y- have you seen Queen videos? Uh, no. Wow. No, yeah. Well, no. The one, the one video, the one video that was on Wayne's World. Uh, I feel so what the fuck. I saw, I saw oh, that one. Absolutely, of course. <laughs> Everybody's seen that video. That's it. I'm, I'm surprised, <laughs> Mike. Mike I'm, <laughs> I'm surprised, Mike. I, 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 I know he, what he looks like. Does that count? I know what Freddie Mercury looks like. Yeah, he has. Yeah, he had. He had. Buck, he, had he had buck teeth. <laughs> yeah, he had a. At one point, he had a porn stash. Yeah. Yes, so there was like, a porn stash. Yes, that that was a thing for a while, apparently. Um, yeah. Uh, I, 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 yeah, he did. He he sounds like a. Like he looks like a like, like a demonic Freddie Mercury. I mean that I I, you know, I encourage you to uh, you know okay I'll tell you what if you get a chance go on YouTube check out Queen uh, 1986 uh, concert uh, from Wembley Stadium. Um, okay. Um, trust me, you you'll come back and say wow, unbelievable. Um, yeah. So impact on 
Scott Weiland. Like, what kind of impact do you think he left for? And I, I, I feel better. I feel we're saying this question because th- there really aren't any great bands that I could speak of anymore that that stand out. That I don't know if he could influence. I don't know. But what kind of impact do you think he left um, on the rock and roll community? I think, uh, personally, I think that as uh, just uh, bringing melody, bringing a harmony, a lot of harmonies to, uh, to, to, I mean, of course people have done it in the past, but I mean, for grunge music to have uh, really awesome harmonies was, wasn't really, I mean, you had, you know what, what Alice in Chains had a lot of harmonies, but that was a uh, kind of like its own thing, because they had that weird, uh, that weird, uh, what was it, I, don't, I can't even t- tell what that is, like a six. Mm-hmm. Kind of harmony, right? You know, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? Right. And yeah. Blake Staley's voice was so, so uh, distinct. So I mean, they're, they're kind of like their own thing. Uh, uh, showmanship, uh, I would say, Scott Wilde. And uh, I don't know, man. I don't know if he's going to be seen as a cautionary tale or, or what. Man. Honestly, because I mean, he was in decline as far as like his drug addiction. For a long time, didn't he get clean up for a while? Though? Didn't he, didn't he get clean up recently for a while? They said he was trying to. They said he was trying to. But I mean, and and to be fair, is uh, you know who knows if uh, he was still using? I don't know if he was still using. I don't know how what the cause of death was. I don't think uh, they've said yet. So, but I mean, as far as musical impact, just uh, really awesome harmonies and melodies and songs. Uh, I, I don't. I don't know. I mean. There's somebody that's listening to STP right now that's going to make, like, really awesome songs, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, there's, I don't know, I don't know. That's the thing with that. It was some type of pilots. They just didn't get, like you said, enough uh, respect, I don't think. Uh, no, and, 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 that, that, and that's what I mean. That, is that, that last statement you just said, that's, that's what I mean, because, like, you said that, and that's why I think they're a little underrated, as, as popular as they were. Like, if I, if I tell you, once again, give me five great bands in the 90s, you know, you're gonna you're gonna list off five others before you go to STP. Yeah, I mean, it just, I mean, honestly, I I would uh, name them on the six, man, right right on the cusp there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah uh, Scott Wyland, man, influence. I don't know what kind of influence do you think he'll uh, he'll have because I don't think he'll have much, man. To be no, honest, with he you. won't. Be, I, I don't think he have much. You know, that's that's the that's the honest the honest truth. Um. Which is sad, isn't it? It's kind of sad. Well, man, the thing is, of- well, first off, he hasn't been relevant really much in the last. I mean, the last. I mean, the, the last. Oh no, no way. The last big band he was, he there was what Revolver. The last record was like eight years ago, and the last record wasn't even mm-hmm. that that good. I mean, it wasn't even that popular. So the last great majority you, you can argue so he put out was over a decade ago, um, mm-hmm. and he he wasn't a mainstream mainstream you know newsworthy guy in terms of like you know he wasn't you know he wasn't. Like, Michael Jackson, Madonna type, you know, like you don't have to release music to know who he is, you know. You got to think about it a little bit, um, and and then you you bring in the musical connotation of it too. There's already there's already been a big gap between that era of music and what we are experiencing now, and I don't I don't even know if the kids today even understand or appreciate the stuff from the '90s anymore. Or even say, oh, even hell, the 2000s, early 2000s. So, right. you know, I. I don't know if the impact is going to translate strong on him unless you really are paying attention. Like, he he might fall through the cracks. He may be one of those guys that fall through the cracks if a kid, let's say a kid, like, let's say my son in about 10 years gets into Nirvana. And then, well, that's kind of a bad example. You know why? Because I'm, I'm his father. I'll, I'll give him good music. <laughs> that's actually a bad example. I, I'm one of the few guys that actually will give him the, the, the good stuff immediately. But let's say somebody, that, you know, in my position who has a young kid, and in 10 years, they start getting into like you know rock music and stuff, and they they go to Nirvana. It, it might be through Nirvana, Soundgarden, Alice in Chains that they find STP. It won't be right. STP being the top of the tree. It'd be probably the part of the tree. Oh, by the way, oh okay, I found that band now. You know, it won't be it won't be the first thing you see on the list of bands to uh, check out first. So that's that's that that's the sad part, and I think that's why the drug shit you know sucks because. I felt like this. I, I'll be honest with you. I, I felt like they were more talented than Nirvana. I mean, I agree with you there, but uh, really, but, uh, <laughs> really, <laughs> it depends what you mean, though. I mean, the song. Look, 
I, I think uh, Nirvana's best songs are better than uh, SP's best songs, uh, but uh, that's just personal opinion. Um, uh, that's, I actually agree with you, though. No, no, no. I do agree with you. There.